Hey guys, this Friday, hey. October 20th at 11 a.m., we're doing another live shopping event. The Cat Coin goes on sale. Uh, we are celebrating the trilogy, the Cat Trilogy from Spit and Silly, and you can be a part of that. You I watch remember. It. I, I was there. Yeah, I was a part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have the memories of being there, so well, we're I don't gonna... know if I need this coin. No, no, you need the coin because you were there. I'll get one for free. Yeah. Oh, you... Me too. Free money? Yeah, count me yeah. in. It's right. worth more than a dollar, I think, each. All right, this Friday, the 20th at 11 a.m. Central Time, you watch on Rooster Teeth or on Face Jam's YouTube channel, I think, probably. Go to facejampod.com. You'll probably be there. Enjoy I'll the show. There. I'll be there. All right, Michael will be Are there. Are you going to be there? Do I get a coin for being at this as well? No, you get rat pizza. It's confusing because he goes in and out from talking to us in the audience. And I never then know you're that. talking to me. And it's also weird because he's looking at us the whole time. I know. Are we the audience? If I show up, do I get 250 free e-tickets? <laughs> how many wow. How many cat coins is that worth? <laughs> Welcome to Spittin' Silly, the Fortnite podcast where anything can happen, and it probably does. Eric is texting the intro to me while I read it. I'm your host, Jordan Swears, alongside my co-host, Michael Jones. Michael, do you need the intro texted Absolutely to you? Absolutely don't need the intro, but I will need the outro, Ooh, Jordan. Ahead. Yeah, but why'd you send it to him? Right. Oh, I yeah. see. So we're dragging him down. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. I mean, that's, I think that's mostly been the premise of this show the whole time. It's dra dragging I've, Jordan down. I've been dragged, all right. <laughs> I feel it. I certainly feel dragged. Oh, man. It's been a um, weird day. It's been not weird. It's a been eventful. Weird. It's been an eventful day. Yeah. We have some great weird content um, that's coming out if you're a first member. We um, taste tested some snacks that Gracie got. That wasn't the important one. Don't worry about that, Jordan. You missed. I missed that. <laughs> you missed the twenty minutes of God. using the taco pass to go get tacos. You went and got tacos. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see it happen. I was we, gonna, Jordan. Don't, we don't, have about twenty. Don't worry. Two is, more days. Okay, we can do it again. I wanted to do a light probing to see how your taco month is going. I know you did. Mm -hmm. Can I? Can I poke around the issue? You can. You can poke. Hey, you eating some tacos? I'm eating them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. I haven't gone every day. Uh, I've missed days. That's so, what I wanted okay? to know. That's, yeah. It's not going to be a perfect run because, uh, as fine. I said, I was going out of town. I did, and there were no Taco Bells. I tried. Yeah. Them. Oh, he <laughs> showed me. He okay. did his best. I, he also found an unregistered Taco Bell. How does that work? It was it so, was it a restaurant <laughs> that just said Taco Bell? No, on it? <laughs> it was it was. Uh, so I was on a road trip, and I'm like, oh, this is coming up. We'll just swing off here. It's on the way. Okay. I'll order it when we get in the parking lot. We get there. Pull up the app in the parking lot. It's not listed. Uh -oh. Taco Bell KFCs don't count. No, they're not part of the taco program. They're not part of the app program, which is crazy because <laughs> yep. it's a Taco Bell. But I was like, if there's no app, there's no taco pat. Like, I don't, th huh. I'm not going to go in and like hold up my phone. Do you think those work, count as KFCs more than they, they count must? As taco what Bell? the hell else would they be? Oh, that's where I'm using my KFC app. Yeah. What the hell else would they you be? You should have downloaded the KFC app. And, I, got and chick I got chicken pass. You but, fucking nuts. You know, <laughs> even in that situation, I didn't say, hey, let's go inside. Yeah. What Nick said today. <laughs> and then we did. Uh, of the 20 minute video that we recorded that'll be out for first members. Uh, I would say seven minutes of it, Gracie, is just me and Gracie in the car talking shit because Nick wanted to go inside Jesus. and it fucked the whole thing up. I helped. No, he didn't. He helped. <laughs> like he didn't help. He helped you if you're a first member because he gave also, you a really long video. I also knew, I knew, so long. I knew what would be happening in the car. Gracie's very nice car, not yes. Eric's shithole and stained car. <laughs> Found, oh, found, found a I, I definitely Very found nice. a, a stain that is from my he, wife he that she did yelling, not he, tell me about. He, we got to his car and he started yelling, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, ah. <laughs> anyway, okay. we were in Taco Bell and I went, I got it open some line of communication here uh -huh. uh, between uh -huh. a home base and mobile. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, But I knew he was recording, so I started slacking Gracie. It's so funny. And immediately it was like the pipeline. He's like, is Nick fucked up. <laughs> 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 anyway. You'll we'll never uh, that believe was great. this. Yeah, so. Um, can I probe Nick real quick? How yeah. are you feeling? He was what? quietly messaging. I was still talking to you. Yeah. Uh, um, How are you feeling about your taco month, Nick? Oh! Oh, not good. Yeah. Well, how many times do you think he's been? 
What is today? Is I think it's next uh, let me let me. Uh, I think um, it's out of like seven yeah. days yeah. so far. So I think he's gone too. You that have nailed exactly <laughs> correct. <laughs> today was counting two. today. <laughs> we got him to two today. Oh no! And I'll tell you, I'm more than two. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, our bets. Are, again, our bets are going great because we did. Again, we're yes, not competing oh, against the each under. other. Right. Right. Yeah. We're not. Um, I don't against think each other. No. That video hasn't come out yet, but it's going to be part of the whole video yes, of, part of, of the Michael's Taco, Taco Month. But yeah. we did take bets on who was going to so, do more or less. Yeah. So Michael has been sending me directly his taco reviews of him eating the tacos. But I've also been told that there have been a couple of tacos that he's gotten that he has not recorded himself eating. So we'll have to look at his receipts at the end to confirm the number of tacos <laughs> oh, he had. It's, all, it's, it's, all, way, it's all in your recent order, and you okay. can prove you, you can prove that you didn't <laughs> you didn't order other food yep. with it. Right. Oh, That's except, another very important part well, of this. Today, because today, today you, we did. Uh huh. But, but but we used reward. Yeah. So, okay, so, so I got a taco, and Gracie <laughs> got, got a taco, taco. All right, well. for free. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all taco talk. What we're here to talk about today, Jordan, is Heck pizza. Yeah. It looks like. Can I? Can I? Point out what <laughs> what I'm seeing. Yes. Oh, please, Jordan. You can um, hold it up for me too, so I can get a cool picture. Wait. Thrilled about this. Wait, uh -huh. I hold them up too. Okay. About as thrilled as I was in the pictures of Fazoli's. Cool. Do y'all want to hold a real one too? Oh, a, re a, a real one. A real Gracie, one? what does that, that mean? mean? <laughs> well, let's check this. Why, in fact, Jordan, today for Spit and Silly, we will be comparing. The Chuck E. Cheese pepperoni pizza at home with the Chuck E. Cheese uh -huh. pizza that you get from Chuck E. Cheese. Whoa. I did not know that. Oh, no. Time to take medicine. <laughs> uh, I did oh. not know they made a frozen pizza version you can buy at the grocery store. It is new. Neither ah. did the Instacart lady that brought me them. Whoa. <laughs> she went up and was, was she, like, I have never it seen is, this. It is thrilled. new. I had really had to sit there and explain. I was like, Work for a podcast. Yeah. Well, you, like, didn't have to. you could just say she wants a pizza. I want a tasty treat from my man no. Chuck. I needed e. her to know they weren't mine. They have the new, <laughs> the new version of. They have the new rat of Charles Entertainment yeah. Cheese. Uh -huh. I don't like this one as much. No, I'm, he's too like he's too ratty. He's much what? more rat like. He is too ratty. He's much less cartoony. <laughs> Take the oven mitt. He's he's three D. He is three yeah. D. And he's like I don't know. He's like not as cool looking. He's much no. more like a don't kid. get burned yeah. up. Um, so Jordan, what we've done here is we were supposed to do this hours ago. Wait, is that why you really brought it? No, <laughs> oh, it we, were out? we were standing here going, <laughs> yep. looking at the pizza in the corner, yep. and crazy going, That's gonna be, be reheated again. And I went, I get my <laughs> I oven, see. and Eric went, You have an oven? Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, now this is the test run. I love when things just work out this way, it, where out. we're in a like. Chekhov's gun type fashion. You want a hand, Gracie? You offhandedly mentioned that you brought a toaster oven to work today, and then a big one. And then look, it pays off. Yeah. So now That's we're some a, great writing. I like the idea that I didn't know we were doing this until it was just blatantly sitting here. Right. Um. But I do like that we're comparing the frozen Re uh, grocery store grocery version store bought one versus the the, the uh, in the restaurant one. Right. Both, the kind that like Nick would both. Make. Yeah. 12 hours old at this point. I think <laughs> right. the 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 at home one must have been made not here uh -huh. because there's right. no it oven. must have been brought well, in. So, so Gracie made it today. Yeah. And then okay. this morning put it in some containers and it's been sitting all day <laughs> and then we just recooked it. So I look out this is the taste test competition. Yep. Right. So so but I guess they're on even ground. They're even ground. They're both yeah. reheated. <laughs> when did you order the one from um, this morning? The also, proper. Okay. I had to go pick it up right before this. she she picked it up right. <laughs> it was it was gonna be arriving right as we arrived when we got done with our other stuff. But then our but day then, got all screwed up. Yeah. So now we are eating some reheated pizza. Uh, from Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck or Cheese. Here, Chuck E. That's the theme, I think. Okay. That is the look of the pizza. Nick couldn't wait yeah, and has frozen. now come over to eat the pizza. This is, this is real or this is frozen? So, are we not the one me? on your right, my uh -huh. left, that one's from in there, so it is the real pizza. And the other one is the frozen pizza. And you can also tell by looking at it. Yeah. Like, right off the bat, one of them looks like a DiGiorno style. Like, the... Slices are more like squat because it came from yes. a slightly mm -hmm. smaller uh, cut of pizza, mm -hmm. and then the one from the restaurant are just longer, more slender slices. It's true. What's it, interesting too is even the frozen ones are two different pizzas put together. Oh, <laughs> go on. Let me uh, 
Let me show you a picture. I thought everybody knew about that theory. What am I looking at? Misaligned pizza. <laughs> That's from the restaurant. So, so we have a feeling that some they, leftover pizza. Whatever leftover pizza they had, they put together into this pizza. You know, when you go to a place, you can order by the slice. They have them on display. Mm -hmm. They're just pulling from a whole pie. Mm -hmm. They had some in the display, and they were like, "We can jerry rig this yeah. together. Just smash them up. We got a whole pizza there. It's fine. That's." Or that seems standard for Chuck E. Cheese. Some kid didn't finish. Well, eating. I must point out, mm -hmm. they don't open until 11 a.m. There was nobody there. So how old are these pizzas that they pieced oh. together? That's a great Like nobody had left them there question. this morning. Hell of a lot older now. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to go another 20 minutes talking uh -huh. about this because the decision is clear which one is better. Um, yeah. I took a bite of, I took a bite of the frozen one mm -hmm. and it tastes like oh. heaven. It's the closest <gasps> to the frozen pizzas that we ate a few weeks ago that, that I'd like to really admit. Right. It's, Are we sure they're cooked? It's very... It's very cardboardy. They were it twice is. cooked. They were twice cooked. Yeah, we know they're very, very that cooked. Right. Uh-huh. Um, I will say, I took a bite of the Chuck E. Cheese, like, real pizza... And I had like sense memory flashbacks of being at a Chuck E. Cheese as a child. It tastes exactly how I remember it. Like exactly. You're just like the critic in Ratatouille. I am. I'm the Ratatouille critic eating the rat pizza yeah. and going back in time. And now you're like, mm, in many ways, the life of a critic <gasps> is easy. I thought you were going to say he was the critic from the critic. No, he's much, his lines it are- stinks! His lines are too straight for that. <laughs> oh, Jay. <laughs> I've been watching a Twitch channel that just shows that and, like, Daria over and over and oh, over all day. Wow. It's been great. What a slice of time. It's so good. What a very specific mm -hmm. slice hey, of time. remember 1996? Yeah! I can't remember specifically, like- July. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it Orson Welles fish sticks? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Vivid memories of that as a mm -hmm. child. As an adult going, what the hell am I? What like, the hell like, was I watching? Didn't, like didn't get it as a kid, but I'm Not like, this all. is funny. He's saying funny things. And then he, he died. Um, let me I kind of want to drill down on something real quick. Is it on more pizza? Uh-huh. Um this tastes the way that I remember it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From when I, I was a kid. said if that was good or bad. Um, it's medium. I mean, it's Chuck E. Cheese. Nick worked at a Chuck E. Cheese, and I can only assume ate this pizza all the time. Oh, boy. Chuck he wrote e. a novel here. Chuck E. Cheese uses cube cheese instead of shredded. Ew. How does that work? It melts. Okay. That seems to melt just fine based on what I'm looking at yeah. here. Um, They're small cubes. Does this oh, taste so the same to matter. you, Nick? I'm sure you ate this all the time. Oh, yeah. Like... How long did you work at Chuck E. Cheese? I worked there for a summer. Okay. 1996? <laughs> Daria was on and all things were good. 2004. Did did you eat the pizza all the time? Every goddamn day. Is this is this was exactly how you remember it tasting? So. Yes. It, uh, I will say it, it's grown on me a little bit since then because I hated all pizza at that time because I had to eat it so much. Why'd you have to eat it? Well, what else am I going to eat? Your own food that you brought to work? Where am I going to put it? What? I they were the break room? Listen. What kind of brought are you yeah, selling? I don't, I don't, I don't, what? What's a break room? What? You know, on a lunch bag in the corner? I don't know. <laughs> but I wanted it cold. Okay. Did you have to wear the rat suit? Twice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> He's very adamant about how he only had to do it twice. It was twice, and it was only because I wasn't busy in the kitchen. This is the second time today, Gracie, that we've heard about how he only wore the rat suit twice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, like that's some sort of thing to be proud of. Right. Like, I, I worked there, but I only had only to do it twice. twice. Only I twice. Was only the rat two times. You know how many special. times I've been the rat? <laughs> and hung me down for it. <laughs> like a rat? He's been the rat as many times uh. as he's gone to Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You either need to be the rat way more or get way more tacos. <laughs> you need to offset oh, no. it somehow. <laughs> May I suggest the rat? <laughs> I agree. Um, so is there just there's just two the two pizzas then? There's two Chuck E. Cheese pizzas uh -huh. and then two frozen That's Chuck what e. Cheese I'm pizzas. saying. That's yeah. just there's not any more to compare. No. Okay. Yeah, it is, no, the I don't Chuck think e. they cheese, serve anything. The else. Chuck E. Cheese pizza is way better. Yeah. Oh, the, like the, the frozen one. one is it's real good. It's it like, is. It's like lunchable style. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. bad. 
it's the sauce is like the lowest quality I've ever tasted. <laughs> okay. Um, this is it's like, it's like paste. <laughs> I don't it's hate. Sauce. I thought I was not going to like it. I don't hate the Chuck E. Cheese. I like don't pizza. I, I don't hate it at all. It's I'm, better than I expected. It. I'm mm -hmm. very hungry, which could also be helping. That might. <laughs> But and I'm, you kept saying you want to play arcade games too. But, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not hungry enough for the frozen one to be mm. good. So I know no. there's a limit on yeah. the, I have the, no limit. the old adage of hunger is the best sauce. If you buy the Chuck E. Cheese frozen pizza, you get 200 free E tickets. That's pretty good. Oh, I should have brought them in with me. I just dropped the paper towels and it's unrolling. Oh no. Take a picture. No. Um I wonder if Would there's a break like even them? point where nice. Um I wonder if there's a break-even point where if you buy enough pizzas, you get enough tickets. Are we going to taco pass this thing? That's sort of, I'm trying to just think, like, where the tipping point is for Chuck E. Cheese ticket token pizza. What is the monetary value of 400 e-tickets? <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. It's a question we need answers. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Run the system. Yeah. What you can get, you what can you, you get, get of equal value? You get 250 Whoa! free e tickets. Whoa! Can we redeem them online? They have vanilla Coke when I worked there. It was free for me. Okay. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Nick, what does that have to do with this? Nick, Nick's having his own little hey, podcast hey, over there. 2004. They had vanilla Coke. Yeah. <laughs> for <What>? me. <laughs> <laughs> On tap. <laughs> On tap. This is before freestyle, so it was a big deal. Yeah. Hey, what up, what up? It's Eric, and I'm here to talk to you about some different things. First of all, it's Kato's Coffee. Uh, you've heard us talk about Kato's Coffee a lot, and that's because I like Kato's Coffee a lot. That should come as no surprise. I'm a coffee guy. So really, what I'm talking about here is coffee that you can trust if you're just getting into coffee, or uh, you maybe fancy yourself a little bit of a coffee expert. You go to K-A-T-O-S-K-O-F-F-E-E dot -E com and use code FACEJAM10 to get 10% off your order. You can try a lot of different things. Kato's Coffee has a lot of starter blends, a lot of specialty coffees, a lot of different things. You can get different grinds. You can do K-Cup stuff. You can do whole beans like me. You can try a lot of different things. You can try and uh, get some stuff at Kato's who will commit to giving back to the community by donating $1 for every order and $2 for every subscription to local dog rescues. It's a great way to support a local business like Kato's and help dogs in need at the same time. Kato's Coffee is a coffee that I really enjoy, I really trust, and you should give it a try too. You can give it a try by going to Kato's Coffee, K-A-T-O-S-K-O-F-F-E-E.com and use code FACEJAM10 to get 10% off your order. Give Kato's Coffee a try. I promise you won't be disappointed. Hey, it's Eric again. What up, what up? I'm also here to tell you about FitBod. Everyone knows that working out is full of positives, like sleeping better, looking better, and feeling better. But as you get stronger, sticking to the same old routine really plateaus you. You don't get the results that you want. It starts to get boring. Keep your momentum going, your progress positive with FitBod, the app that creates personalized workouts based on your goals, routines, and gym setup while helping you track and visualize your progress. Uh, this is something I can speak to. I really like it. It's been very cool to get some different workouts with the machines or lack thereof uh, when you need them. How many preacher curls can you really do and still hit it as hard as you did when you were first learning how to do it? It's just not as exciting. FitBod really helps with overcoming the like, man, I just don't feel like doing this today. Because when you get to mix it up a little bit, it's like, oh, I'll just try something else. Oh, hey, I never thought about doing this one. Oh, I like that. I really like it. I think FitBod's really worked for me. I've been very happy with it and just mixing up the workouts with a minute. It takes into account the equipment you have or don't have. So you have all your big gym features, but also maybe you just have some dumbbells in your body weight. It can make a whole personalized workout routine for you based on your fitness goals. Really, really, really like FitBod. Give it a try. It's never been easier to get results that you've wanted. Check out FitBod right now. Get 25% off your subscription at fitbod.me slash facejam. That's fitbod, F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash facejam. Get started today. Check it out. 25% off your subscription. Easy. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, you missed us trying the uh, Coke uh, made with oh, AI-generated. Oh, we can so go get bad. one. It's so bad, uh, can dude. You, you want to grab yeah. one real quick? Yeah. 
I am not, thirsty. It's not good. You're, Is well, this that new flavor that's yeah, like Y3000 or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm scared of it. I don't want it to take over uh, humanity. Don't worry. It's 980 years from now. <laughs> Plenty <laughs> of time to stop it. We told people in like 2900, you're fucked. Yeah. If you're when you're listening to this podcast, because mm-hmm. it's probably like a religion or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just know this is called the yeah, gospel. Bless. <laughs> just know that the soda reckoning is coming uh-huh. soon, uh-huh. very soon. Yeah. Maybe like eighty years from now. So not that we are, soon. We are prophets. So it. we think this is the real sugar one. Oh, I like that. It's a and mini. it's in a tiny, tiny can. <laughs> yeah, you'll like that. It's in a mini because it's because less you want less. <laughs> yeah. So this is Jordan. Can they make it even smaller? <laughs> Uh, we tried these on a taste test that we put up for first, or we'll be up for first. It's called reusing content. Uh-huh. Enjoy. Welcome. Uh, okay, what does it smell like to you? The year 3000. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> right back for another drink. Huh. It's like watered-down blueberry. Mm. I said it tastes like I feel like a... I'm not getting enough. It Take a, take a big drink. There you go. Wow. wow. Swish it around so, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep eating this pizza. Yeah, I mean, there's another one. You want us to heat up yeah, the other one? Yeah, you want to put it in it's, the toaster oven in the corner? Maybe. <laughs> it's a little too sweet. I don't think I could drink that whole thing. It tastes like, I think, a um, fruit roll-up mm. got placed inside of a soda. And, <laughs> and then, it's been kind of yeah. just dissolving mm-hmm. in there. And then you're taking a drink and you're going... Huh. To me, people are drinking them. Though. Here comes Nick to have the it, last slice. It's like a watered down blueberry otter pop that mm, it has is been a bit carbonated. Like that. Yeah. It is a little Which bit Which isn't like that. good. No. No, that's not the best way to consume that. No. People are taking them though, because I put four in the fridge earlier. Yeah. That was the people second take last anything. one. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, I would kill Get him. Michael oh. to um <laughs> Whoa. No, I wouldn't kill Michael for this. Whoa. But oh, thanks. for a mini version <laughs> like this, um, of vanilla, vanilla Coke. Yeah. Like, where can you find that? I don't it's hard know. enough to find Vanilla Dude, Coke as it is. Everything they have in mini is, like, diet. Yeah. It's, yeah. Which is it, great. Make it in regular, too, please. But, but yeah. they also have the most niche. Yes. Like It'll be, like, cherry, lime, cherry, made, vanilla, the, splash. Caffeine yeah. free. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, I'm, and there's no Vanilla Coke. And yeah. they're, they're weird marketing or branding for, like, each different flavor or version of Coke. Like you got to know the color scheme. Yeah. So if, so if it's if it's like dark red, um, uh, it's like a zero br- or something. Brown and like off like red, gold. Yeah, red and black. Yeah, that that's like caffeine, zero sugar, cherry. It's I hate it. Um, you guys are talking about the the Coke, the different flavors, the knockoff, that kind of thing. Are you aware? And I think we should do something with this soon. Are you aware of the uh, great value candies that they're doing right now? Mm, I don't think so. I just found out about this. Great value, which is Walmart's brand, is doing candy knockoffs, and I think we should do a taste test of them. Where (laughs) Cooked or uncooked? (laughs) It's, this is, they just do, like, Twix and Snickers and Three Musketeer. Like, they're doing the big candies, is but they're legal? weird knock. I've never seen a knockoff Twix like That's that. That's because it's not like against the law, but it's probably like an implication that their like mob will come after you. You know what I mean? Like, right. don't <laughs> don't make a knockoff Twix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You if know? you know what's Some, good for your you, Twix might get broken. Yeah, <laughs> and so I I think we should try the great value. Okay. Candies. What, are, what do they call the Twix version? Do they have like a funny knockoff name for what, it? What What would you call them? Sticks. <laughs> Sticks isn't bad. Sticks is not a bad one. Um, I was probably not. They're probably gonna describe what it is, right? I guess they're all kind of caramel and chocolate, though. (laughs) Right? Like, how do you wafer might be in there? Mm. A little wafer, cookie, cookie, uh, cookie stack. I don't know. Great value, cookie and caramel bar. Yeah, there it is. Bar. I don't. They always. They just. It's just straight up. This is what you're eating. Yeah. They always just describe it. Yeah. I mean, if it tastes like a Twix, though, I don't care. Twix is tasty. They have uh, Snickers, and it is called Peanut Caramel and Nougat Bar. Come yep. on. Yep. They Come have on. Uh, Milky Way, and it is called Caramel and Nougat Bar. Not to be confused with the Peanut Caramel Nougat Bar. No, no. Those I mean, fortunately, they know that. Mm. Just look at them. Yeah. You know what they are. Right. They benefit right, yeah, from it, being such weird. a good knockoff. It's weird. <laughs> they all 
end with a little like winky face emoticon. <laughs> <laughs> Semicolon. We made it ourselves yeah. in the kitchen. Wink. It's it's just I think it's something that we should try. They have a Three Musketeers bar called Fluffy Nougat Bar. It's <laughs> Who's just out here eating Three Musketeers. I mean, they're light, too light. You'll float the, away. Uh, they, that you are, used, that was like flying. That was like my away. favorite candy when I was a kid. You'd float away. Why yeah. did you not have a Milky Way yet? Uh. Yeah, then Milky Way took over. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, great value milk chocolate crispy wafer bar is their Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Yeah. Oh, that's, this, is, this is turning into a game where it's like you read the description. But yeah. here's here's the thing. The reason that I bring it up is, is the knockoff and everything. It's the price of these are what you would expect and what you remember paying. 78 cents Holy for moly. Like, the, like the Kit Kat, like the big Kit Kat yeah. and everything. Dude, big Kit Kat's going to be pissed about that. Yep. <laughs> All the, like this is gonna be this is like the plot of the the new Charlie in the chocolate factory or uh, no, Willy Wonka. True. Big yeah. chocolate's gonna big chocolate's gonna come fuck up Walmart. Yeah, yep. little Willy Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Willy Walmart. Uh, so Scratch we, that. Reverse it. <laughs> I think we have to try the Great Value brands versus the regular ones yep. because if they're Nick is on board. If they're oh, shit. if they're any good. That might be fun. Yeah, we might save people thousands. We might thousands. We might blow this whole thing wide open. Yep. yep. We might get Walmart sued if we get enough eyes on this. Yeah. I get, mean, I'm cool get with some that. of the heat off of us. Yeah. 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 We, have, we have heat on us. Uh -oh. I mean, after I'm this, looking, I'm just looking yeah, at the after, shirt. You're after the shirt, what are you talking, talking about? <laughs> it's that's Monkey Mouse. Monkey, I told I told Tony today that I want to call it Monkey Mouse, and he went, "Well, I mean." Not gonna make it any worse. So. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> it's, uh, that's our own it's already guy. So overt. That's yeah. our own guy that we made. Yeah, his name Monkey is Monkey Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> he's got. He's wearing a T-shirt and shorts. M O N K E Y M O U S E. That's the song I just made. Thank you. Monkey Mouse Playhouse. Oh man. Um, the other thing that I wanted to talk about with the Chuck E. Cheese pizzas during COVID, they were one of the companies. All right, they became a the secret pizzas. Yeah, sure. yeah. Pasquale's Pasquale's yeah, yeah. Pizza. Yep, that and, and Hooters. Which I was going to say, and and you Michael. fell for that. Michael, and Michael, that's Michael. I ordered. Yeah, it was so good. <laughs> so, do you know about this? Crazy? Like the ghost kitchen. Yeah. So during COVID, on DoorDash, instead of ordering from Chuck E. Cheese, right. it would list it as Pasquale's Pizza. And not have the rat or anything. It just looked like a pizza place. Mm -hmm. And then people would get it and it would be Chuck E. Cheese. Right. Michael ordered, what was, do you like cheeseburgers? It, it, but it yeah, was. Yeah, but it was from like wingies. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. I forget what they call it. It was something and it was. Owlies. Yeah. And it was from, it was Hooters. <laughs> Rebranded. Right. I, I, I ordered Hooters. It had to come so far. Uh-huh. Right. Like the closest Hooters was not close. Yeah. And then you're like, once you get the box, you're going, I paid this much and waited this long and it's going to be this cold from a Hooters. <laughs> and then I took a bite and I was like, I got to order this more often. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered those burgers so many times. Are you serious? I loved them. Oh, no. They held. I, I don't had know. no idea. I don't know what to tell. Oh, I ordered them from that place several times. I had oh. no idea. Yeah. That's Did very funny. Did it ever funny. get you in the... Get you through the door. That has not. No. <laughs> it's not gotten me through the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're that kind of podcast. <laughs> Fellas, fellas, we gotta go get these burgers. <laughs> There's the best. <laughs> we, uh, I'm only there for the burgers, I swear. Um, <laughs> it makes me wonder, like, they could have just said it was from Hooters and people still would have ordered it. Like, why? I don't know why that I would have. I, why that, that's what I was gonna say. You certainly would ha wouldn't have. Right, but, but it's why just because is it a I'm, pandemic I'm, specific thing to change it? Because they weren't getting any money otherwise. No one was going into Hooters. Sure, so, but but you could order from Hooters. You right, could, but they you could, but they weren't. And so I think we got tricked. I think that, us poor defenseless guys got tricked. <laughs> oh no, tricked, tricked by Hooters again. Oh no, I got oh no, I went in again. Why is Hooters on the credit card oh. again? <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I that's not where I ordered I from. I ordered it was from, Owlies. It was yeah, I ordered Owlies. from <laughs> Owlies Burger Stand. <laughs> Uh, I think what happened was so many of these places where maybe the food isn't like the 
predominant the food, the food, reason. Right. The food it, sucks, but it makes money. Yes. You're there. Yeah. yeah. That's Chuck E. Cheese, right? You don't go to Chuck E. Cheese no. for food, but you have to eat the food when you're there. Yeah. And now when people aren't there, they're like, oh shit, we're not getting them. Mm-hmm. Right. So let's like, get them a There's already a negative association in the customer's mind with the food yeah. from Chuck oh, E. Cheese. Oh, for sure. So yeah. the only way you can get them. Do you want the experience of Chuck E. Cheese without the best part of it? <laughs> and the uh, best part, and the funny, best part is Nick in a rat costume. But it's funny because a lot of times though they only didn't, two times they yeah. didn't follow through on the effort of disguising the packaging. No, it, it would be that's like, great. well, we're not going to order new boxes. Yes, you know, like, I mean, like hey, literally. Once it's ordered, you you already got. Gotcha. You know? I mean, if if it was like me though, I'm like, well, you won me over. <laughs> so that was the thing that they did is you would get, you'd order Pasquale's pizza and then you would get the box of the rat on it. I would be disappointed. Exactly. But they already got your money and they don't give a fuck. True. Yeah. So, um, and, and now you, here we are again, you have to eat you, buying more of their stuff. But you wouldn't be disappointed if they also threw in a free frozen pizza and you made that uh-huh. as comparison and be like, well, this pizza is yeah, better. Yes, 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 yes. You would, would you would make the frozen pizza and go, this sucks shit. <laughs> and then you would eat the Chuck E. Cheese pizza and go, I can eat another one of these. Yeah. This, well, this is below, I'm cooking another one yeah. right now. This is below like Red Baron. I agree. Uh, I, think, I think I think this think is it's pretty below wack. the Baron. Yeah. I, when's the last time you've had a Red Baron? I had cooked? one. I had one uncooked <laughs> yeah. a couple weeks yeah. ago. <laughs> it's uh I I would say it's better than Red Baron. Really? I it's still not good, but it's I really right, took like great. one or two bites of it, and I was. Well, I ate it all, Eric. I ate it all. <laughs> Gracie is one bite. Too. I want, I want, <laughs> Gracie I want, is heating up the other pizza. Yeah, I want I, more of the real the pizza. Real, I ate, I think, four slices. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Of you ate frozen? almost half of a, a Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I must have. I'm gonna eat more than half once that guy's done. <laughs> <laughs> the Taco Bell made me hungry. Uh, right. Oh, it kicks. It kind of like kickstarted. It you. opened up my hole. Oh. My food hole. Oh. Today's lineup has been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like, lots of weird foods. Yeah. I like the things that we ate morning, before noon it's true. was wild. Uh, and we had whatever the fuck we ate. Uh, oh my video. god, I forgot about that. It was the last thing I'd oh, eaten no. for hours. We and o- it was we oat? We ate like some frozen gelatin <laughs> stew. It was a meat jello. Oh, oh yeah, that's Ew. right. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. 1930s that, no, that's like, that's cookbook fashion where everything was a gelatin. Yes. <laughs> Do you have something to look forward to? Yeah, enjoy that. Uh, um, I didn't. Yeah, no. We well, yeah, it was the we last thing I had eaten today. for so long that like I was like, I just need to eat something else because the only thing in my head was that there were, meat jello. There were bagels in the other room. I know, but I had one before, luckily, oh. but then I had to leave, so I didn't have to time leave. to eat. Didn't have time. But now, plenty of rat pizza for you. That's why, so thank you, Gracie, for getting all the rat pizza. Yeah, this is a um, bountiful rat pizza harvest, I feel like this sure. was a Nick idea. Is that how this came about? I think it would be great if Nick had made the pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. If he had just been like, hey, let me back in the kitchen for old time's hey, sake. Hey, yeah, it's me to rat. It's, oh, it's me. 2004. I was the rat again. twice. <laughs> Um, two <laughs> times, let me in. Do and you then they think? Let him in. Do you think people should Never. try the Chuck E. Cheese, like the actual Chuck E. Cheese pizza? Uh, I I don't think it's like yeah. the actual pizza. Yes. Listen, we got two yeses. If you're Jordan. scrolling on the DoorDash and you see Pasquale pop up, uh huh, maybe give it a go. Yeah. You might, you might not regret yeah. it. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh-oh. Oh, and also, I just like want to... If you're going to go for a pizza, you're like, why don't you swap it out for a Pasquale? Don't go to the Chuck E. Cheese for the pizza. Yeah, that's... Don't ever do that. Yeah. Um, I want to point out here to both you and the audience, Jordan, uh, we... I had this oven here, and we made the pizza, whatever, and Crazy goes, oh, did you have an oven mitt? And I'm like, oh, no. I... Yeah, I forgot. I think about I forgot that. about that. And it goes, I'll look in the kitchen. I went, well, we don't have an oven, so... <laughs> why would we have an oven mitt? He's gone for... A minute or two, not an incredibly long amount of time, but he didn't go and come back. He clearly looked around, walks back in, couldn't believe it, nothing in his hands. Nothing. <laughs> I and don't I, believe and it. I, and I just went, but you brought nothing? <laughs> and I'm like, well, just stick your hand in there. Yeah. And so he he's like, he goes, he goes, empty handed. I, even a towel? I, I could have got, I, I went, there's no towel? He goes, no. I, I guess I could have got paper towels, yeah. which is what we ended up getting. But I'm just like, there's an oven. You need you need a solution. He goes, nope. <laughs> he comes back with nothing. Hang on. <laughs> I fucked up again. You sure did, bud. Oh, it's only been a fortnight. This is the third time you're a rat now. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Well, we have a whole um, pizza from the rat to eat, and uh, I'm going to eat some more. Michael's yeah. got 15 minutes. That was a, uh, yeah, you got time. You got time yeah, for rat we, pizza. We can dive into this, yeah. this other piece. Thanks for, thanks for checking out the pizzas with us. Who are you talking to? You guys. Oh, I didn't know if you guys, like, uh, the Thanks for arranging or... this whole thing. Good job, Gracie. Yeah. yeah. Getting, getting and cooking. That looks pretty good. <laughs> That pizza. That's, that's not a that, bad looking zone. Those two half yeah. pizzas yep. put together. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Yes. Uh, that's from another one. That's from another one. That these two are from together. The Frankenstein. Of I feel pizza. like I have to give them credit. It was clean in there. Like really in the deck no, yeah. because it had just opened. Yeah. It was weird though. <laughs> it was clean. Like the floors weren't stained. You didn't have a similar situation than going into that Taco Bell with Nick. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't think. I'm it's glad clean I stayed in, in the car. Real quick before we wrap up, yeah. where is the the nearest Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, it's down off Mopac. Okay. Kind of by the domain. By like the Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, by Mighty Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah. It is right by Mighty Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Nice area. Yeah. It's okay. Hey, thanks for listening to Spittin' Silly. <laughs> Don't forget to listen to a new episode of Face Jam next week. That's right, next week. Tell a friend about the show where we do whatever we want. Even eat pizza several times reheated. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Yum. Yum.